I'm Jeff Shiver, Managing Principal with People and Processes. Today I wanted to share with you a short video on the PF curve. And let's get started. When we talk about the PF curve, what we're basically talking about is establishing a level where the, the user has a want. Okay? So let's, let's consider that we have a pump, and that pump, the process requires 100 GPM. And as an engineer, we bought the pump and we bought it at 150 GPM to make sure that we could satisfy that want. And I'm going to label this as the want. And I'm going to label this as the can, or the capability of the pump. Now, I hope you would agree that over time, say if we take a particular component, maybe the impeller of that pump, it's going to wear. Maybe it wears something like this. At this point, what we've actually reached is we reach total failure. And that's obviously not where we need to be. Well, if, once we reach this point here, we've actually functionally failed, which is very different than total failure. We functionally failed at this point. So what I'll do is draw a line here. And this is what we call the failure. Now at some point, at some point, we can actually detect this in the act of failing. And maybe that's at uh, 105. We set that up. Maybe from an operator inspection where they're viewing a, a, a flow meter or they're looking at the output of a valve or something like that. And at this particular point, we now have the potential for failure. So this, this window here is called the PF interval. What's important there is that we have a wide enough window that we can proactively plan, schedule, get the parts, and, com and complete the repair before we ever reach this functional failure point. That's the goal of the PF curve. So when we look at that, again, we're falling off where you know, the impeller is wearing over time, our flow is dropping down, but at some point we'll reach the functional failure. Before that, we actually look and say, where is it that we can find this in the act of failing? That's our potential. We try to make sure that our, we maximize the maximum the life of this component here, but at the same time, we have a big enough window that we can proactively plan and schedule the repair before we functionally fail. That's the whole concept around the PF curve. Hope you enjoy the tip. I'm Jeff Shiver, Managing Principal, People and Process. Have a great day.